Hello and welcome back to the WP Club YouTube channel. Today we will try to add product quantities to WooCommerce store items. And we are going to do so with super easy and amazing plugin called All-in-One Product Quantity for WooCommerce. So let's start the review. In order to understand what you can do with this plugin, let us enter our WooCommerce store. Here are the available products. Now enter one of them. As the page opens, we see the product minimum amount uh, and it is two. So the client cannot buy less than two items. Then uh, while raising the quantity, we notice that its maximum is 10. So the customers cannot buy more than 10 items. And the quantity increments tab is two. That means that the customers can buy two, four, six, eight or ten products. You will meet these and other valuable functionalities during this tutorial. So let's start reviewing the plugin. The all-in-one product quantity plugins free version is available on WordPress. It is presented by WP Whale. The plugin has more than 4,000 active installations and 36 five stars based on the customer's reviews. So here is the official website where you can purchase the plugin's pro version with this pricing. Single site for one year update costs $39.99. Single site with lifetime access costs $59.99. And this plan is the most popular among the others. Unlimited sites package uh, with one year of updates costs uh, $69.99 and the same with lifetime updates costs $99.99. Now let us install the plugin from WordPress plugin directory. So after activating the plugin, we will notice it appeared in the WooCommerce settings section as a separate menu. And here is the product quantity section with many features available. So let's start with the general options. Here you can find product quantity options and general options as well with all the important descriptions for users to understand it better. Decimal quantities, decimal quantities in admin order, sold individually, uh, for, uh, force minimum uh, quantity, add to cart validation, and so on. You can set quantities even on uh, archive pages for the cart total categories and per product as well. The plugin is WPML and Polyland compatible. Here is another important section uh, that is force quantity options. By changing the initial quantity to force to a minimum, maximum, default, etc. So you will notice them initially displayed on the product page. We will definitely come back to this option a little bit later. Now let's save changes and move forward to the minimum quantity page. In this section, you can specify a minimum quantity according to the below presented options, like the car total, a minimum quantity option. Let's write here, for example, two. And the notification below, uh, which will be displayed for the users when they try to add less than the allowed minimum quantity. Next comes the per item minimum quantity options, where you can also add a notification message and per category minimum quantity options with a message where you should replace the mentioned values with the correct inputs. The next feature is setting a maximum quantity for card total, per item, per category and per attribute, having an opportunity to add also a notification option in case the users uh, want to exceed the maximum allowed quantity. Almost the same options you will find for the default quantity. Here you can set a value different from the default one in the quantity input. 
And one of the most important features of the plugin is the Quantities tab that identifies the increment tabs of quantities when the user clicks on the sign plus or minus. Here you can insert this tab and customize the message according to the set number. Next comes the fixed quantity. Here you can specify fixed quantities in your store for all product categories, per product, etc. And quantity drop-down enables you to show drop-down instead of the default quantity input field in WooCommerce. The option is available also for the archive pages. The next total price by quantity options is foreseen for displaying product prices for different quantities in real time. The users may see the price unit beside the product price on card, product or archive pages. As well as in the quantity info options, you can use your HTML knowledge or one of the available short codes. With the styling option, you can customize the quantity inputs by changing their width, height, etc. Here are the admin options enabling users to add a quantity column to the admin products list. And the advanced options section where you can access advanced features like JS check options, order item meta options, rounding and card options and some other advanced functions. After making the preferred changes, you should save changes as in the previous sections. And now it is time to see the results on our WooCommerce store. So we will detect one of the products available. To display the minimum quantity initially, we should go to the general section and in the force quantity options set force to minimum quantity. So it will display the minimum possible purchasing quantity. And the same is in the case of maximum quantity. Let's check also the default quantity, which is 2 instead of the default 1. So you have learned how to add product quantities and control purchasing processes on your WooCommerce store. Hope you liked the video. If yes, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notifications on. More valuable content is coming soon.